A new poll shows that the majority of Republican voters do in fact want Donald Trump to run for president again, even if he's charged with a crime. The NPR, PBS NewsHour, and Marist National Poll found that approximately 61% of Republicans said they'd support the former president if he were indicted, compared to 20% of independents and 8% of Democrats? I mean, these polls, they just blow my mind. Like, who are the eight percent of Democrats? Are they just mess? Are they just trolling the the pollsters? Who knows? Luckily, not everyone is insane. Sixty one percent of Americans, including ninety percent of Democrats and twenty six percent of Republicans, and sixty seven percent of Independents, do not want Donald Trump to run for president in twenty twenty four. This jumps to sixty five percent of Americans if he's charged with a crime. So let's break down the demographics here when it comes to the Republican voters who would in fact support Trump, even if he were indicted on serious crime charges. The majority of Trump's support in the hypothetical scenario that he committed a crime came from Southern voters, 32%, rural voters, 38%, Gen X voters, jank, 38%, and white women who did not graduate from college, 44%. Jank, what do you have to say about the people in your generation? Uh, I I don't apologize for anything. No, I. it's not on me. But seriously, guys, um, well, the one thing that drives me crazy is we're going to show you here is that when Democrats say, no, I'm MAGA Republicans, they're a small portion of the Republican Party. You know, the majority of Republicans are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people. Right. Are they? Um, so here's 61 percent of Republicans saying, oh, if he's a criminal. Yeah, then he should definitely run. Uh, I can't wait for, to vote for the criminal who stole nuclear secrets and put them in his house for God knows what reason. Hey, don't you want to know for what reason? I don't care. I love him and I love that he's a criminal. That's not a minority. I can, let me do the math for Joe Biden. The 61% of Republicans. But uh, th this is not an outlier poll at all. So one that came out just a couple of days ago, two thirds of Republicans, 66% say, quote, the election was rigged and stolen from Trump. Okay, Two so thirds of Republicans. They're all MAGA Republicans, knuckleheads in DC, figure it out. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna tweak what you said a little bit because I think your interpretation is inaccurate. Okay, mm. so you the, the reason why I say it is because you're under the impression that if these voters saw that he was indicted for a serious crime, and actually believed that he was guilty of this serious crime, they would still support him. But they have been misled into thinking any type of investigation into Donald Trump is nothing more than a witch hunt. So they don't believe what's being reported in regard to his possession of top secret and classified documents. They just don't believe it. They think that it's a politically motivated witch hunt and nothing more. Yeah, yeah, and so two things about that. Yeah, I hear you. That there, that's the whole why right wing media is more at fault uh, than the voters are because they brainwashed them very, very literally. Okay, they kept the truth from them systematically. They lied to them systematically, so they believe things that aren't remotely true. That the, like the election was stolen uh, from Trump, even though sixty. Uh, court cases determined they didn't have a single piece of evidence, including all the Trump judges, et cetera. But they, they've got them believing in absolute fantasies, right? And and now they say, oh, yeah, of course, nuclear secrets are supposed to be stolen. Or no, not stolen, but they, they're taken by the president. Obama took them too. Not true, not remotely true. Okay, they, get, they brainwash them so badly. It's a total and utter cult. Having said that, are you sure if they thought, oh, no, no, he took the nuclear secrets, and he wanted to sell them for his own personal profit. Even if they knew that and they believed that, I think he would still have a majority of Republicans kissing his ass and saying, I'd rather have that criminal than someone who I don't like, the, the others, brown, black people, gay people, whatever it is, anyone who doesn't want to oppress people that don't look like me. I mean, there are other potential Republican candidates. You know, it doesn't have to be Trump. They don't have to support Donald Trump. But anyway, I mean, we'll see what happens and whether he ever gets indicted for his 
possession of those top secret and classified documents is still up in the air. We don't know for sure if Merrick Garland intends to charge him with any crime here. But I do want to go back to the point that you made, which I think is an accurate point about how there are politicians in this country, elites in this country who are still incredibly delusional about the reality of the Republican voters and the Republican Party. Because whether we want to accept it or not, the MAGA Republicans happen to be almost the entirety of the Republican electorate. And I want to give you some examples of prominent Democratic politicians uh, who seem to be delusional about this, starting with Joe Biden. There are, no, there are not many real Republicans anymore. By the way, your sitting governor, he's a Republican you can deal with. We disagree. No, no, I'm serious. But at least he's within the mainstream of the Republican Party. I respect conservative Republicans. I don't respect these MAGA Republicans. So there he's uh, making it clear that he believes the MAGA Republicans are a smart, small portion of the Republican Party, when in reality, I mean, poll after poll indicates otherwise. Uh, we have yet another example of Biden making this similar point. Let's watch. I don't consider any Trump I do think anyone who calls for the use of violence fails to contempt violence when it's used, refuses to acknowledge that an election has been won, insists upon changing the way in which the rules you count votes. That is a threat to democracy. Okay, and I wanted to also give you a more recent example, not featuring Joe Biden, but more importantly, featuring uh, Hillary Clinton. She was on The View, and uh, I thought her comments here really drive home the point that many Democrats are delusional about the state of the Republican Party. Let's watch. Fascism is a very big word. I know mm -hmm. that. But so is socialism, and the Republicans call every Democrat who wants people to have health care a socialist. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think we do need to be careful with our language. My most fervent hope is that Republicans themselves will begin to reject all of that. But they're not going to reject all of that because that is the Republican Party. Yeah, that so is the Republican Party. Yeah. So look, as we've shown you, Pelosi saying it, Clinton saying it, uh, Biden saying it, they, they why? Because they love their Republican colleagues. And I'm not this is not hyperbole. I'll pull a Biden. OK, no, no, no. I'm serious. I'm serious. They've been working with those guys to screw us over for decades, uh, get all of the corporate donor money and then shovel all of our taxpayer dollars to all of their donors. That's what Clinton, Biden, Pelosi, Mitch McConnell, Marco Rubio, Ted Cruz, they've all been doing it happily for decade after decade after decade. So that's why they're like, oh, we miss our old partners in crime. We miss the, our buddies. Why don't you guys go just go back to that, right? And they just believe with all their heart that those wonderful, wonderful Republicans are still running the party or are about to uh, get, get power again. They don't exist. Yeah, you've got a couple of uh, your old school corporate Republicans that are still in Congress. There's a plenty of them in Congress. But among the voters, I mean, listen to what Biden said. He said, no, 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 I'm not talking about the majority of Republicans. He's just he's in love with them. Like tr no. Trump was in, tr in love with Kim Jong Un. He said, just the ones who say the election was stolen. I just read you the number. That's two thirds of Republican voters. Wakey, wakey, Joe, you don't get it. Your lovers have turned on you. And so, and, and Anna, one more thing about that. Look, it's possible that there's a smart person in the White House and they're using this as a strategy to divide Republicans to, into the sane ones and the insane ones and you don't wanna be in the insane uh, grouping. But they're, if they're doing that, they're doing it without Biden knowing. I guarantee you somebody at the White House convinced Biden, oh, there's this tiny little fraction of Republicans called MAGA Republicans. I know you love every other Republican, but you can criticize this tiny faction for political reasons. And he's like, oh, OK, what are they, three or four percent? OK, let's go out there and hit them. Yeah, I, look, <clears throat> I think that there's something different at play and. It's honestly the same thing I experienced when I was in Pennsylvania debating Ben Shapiro before the Pennsylvania Chamber of Commerce. They hate Trump, right? Business owners, Republican politicians who Joe 
Biden probably has conversations with, privately probably talk about how, how much disdain they have for Trump. But they're such cowards that they're unwilling to ever cross Trump publicly. And the few who have crossed Trump have paid the political consequences of doing so. And so I think that's what is misleading Joe Biden and the Democratic Party into thinking, no, the MAGA Republicans, just a small fraction, just a small fraction. But I think there's a difference between the congressional lawmakers that they're having conversations with, the business owners they're having conversations with, and then there's the electorate, the Republican electorate, who clearly support Trump regardless of what he does. Yeah, Anna, that's a great point. Uh, so I just want to add two quick things to that. One is, remember, Biden and Hillary and Pelosi are surrounded by the Republican elite, the Republican establishment. And so do those guys hate Trump? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, because he's against their version of the elites. And, and so that's why Biden thinks, what do you mean? Every Republican I know hates Trump. Every Republican I know wants to go back to doing these corporate deals. And we just did a whole bunch of corporate deals that got them corporate pork. Those are the Republicans I know and love. So that's why in their bubble, the MAGA Republicans are a tiny percentage. But why can't you read a poll? What is wrong with people in Washington? Why, why don't you understand simple numbers? That's not where the voters are. And I want to say one last thing about I don't want you to think that, hey, Trump, the elites are against Trump, like the businessmen that – uh, Anna's talking about and the, and the corporate politicians that said, so Trump must be a good guy. No, the elites don't like Trump because they were stealing our money in an oligopoly. And Trump doesn't believe in the oligopoly. He believes in a monopoly where only he steals the money. Exactly. So yep. they're having a, a fight between thieves. Yep. So don't think that there's any good guys in that story at all. And, and mind you, his uh, handling of COVID uh, hurt businesses because he didn't take it seriously. He was discouraging people from getting vaccinated, which hurt businesses who wanted their workers to go back into the office or, you know, back to work overall. So uh, Trump meant instability for them as well, and that hurt their bottom line. And that was really the reason why they hated him. It's not because, uh, you know, business interests were upset that Trump was taking them to task and holding them accountable. That wasn't the sure. case at all. He gave them massive tax cuts. He lowered the corporate tax rate from 35% to 21%. And then when you look at the effective tax rate with all those corporate loopholes, you end up with multi-billion dollar businesses like Amazon getting away with paying nothing in federal taxes and in fact getting a tax return, money returned to them by the federal government. That was all because of Trump and they love him for that.